how did it come about? So how did it come about? In 1692, there was a rash of accusations. How did it start? It starts with two little girls who begin to convulse and shriek and fall into trances, which are symptoms which then were understood to be diabolical doings and either possession or witchcraft. And in this case, they're determined to be witchcraft. And, and from there, it spreads. But right? how does it spread? So the girls said somebody did this well, to you me? Well, you know, an interesting thing when you say to someone, you're bewitched, they can always, they always seem to be able to name a witch. So they begin to point fingers. Oh, wait, so the girls who were having the convulsions were accused of being possessed? They are accused of being bewitched. And therefore, there must be a witch somewhere loose in the community. And they said, I think and it's they, this person. And then three names. It's interesting. We don't really know if they name the names or if their parents perhaps suggest the names. But three women are then denounced as witches. And, and, and what did they do? They, at last, go to court and um, are unable to defend themselves. They're and accused of, yeah, they don't fare so well. Were they burned? Did they burn um, the witches? They hang the witches in Massachusetts. They hanged them. They hang them. Yeah, well, that that's seems, much nicer than don't burning. Don't you think it's then. far more polite, right? That is a much, that's a kind of happier yeah. ending than I thought. It, it's not, it's maybe not as cinematic. Though, How many don't people you think? ended up being killed during the witch trials? 20. Presumably innocent people die. 19 of them have. Presumably hang. innocent people die. <laughs> so we don't know. We don't want to prejudge. They could know. have been witches. Yeah. <laughs>